As I rode around Canada, a lot of guys were saying, man, you are living the life. And a few said they really felt it was time for a change themselves. They were in high pressure jobs, earning as much as possible to pay off big mortgages and credit card debts. And they had almost no time to enjoy their passions, especially that shiny, neglected dirt bike. Hanging out with the Traction ERAG crew in Canada was great. I got to meet like-minded people who also made a conscious decision to opt out of the work, buy, consume, die system and focus more on what they loved doing. A man cannot be judged by the size of his penis or personal assets. This led to some interesting conversations that often went something like this. Around 10% of the world's population doesn't get enough food to eat, but obesity in the first world is leading to an epidemic of weight-related problems. Diabetes, heart disease, stroke, shorter lifespans, and earlier onset of dementia. And we are passing our bad habits on to our kids. Almost half the world lives on less than $2.50 a day while most of us in the first world are relatively wealthy. Yet, we are trapped in this delusion that happiness will only occur if we earn more, borrow more, and buy more. Because buying stuff is the key to happiness, we take a shortcut and buy it all on credit. And when we aren't happier, we think it's because we didn't buy enough shit. And of course, guess who is making loads of money from the average Joe with all his credit cards maxed out to the limit? Wouldn't it be cool if we could get out of this vicious circle? If we could give a big finger to the system and actually choose how much we get involved with it instead of letting it control us. One of the Traction ERAG guys is called Hobo Bill. He recently chose to opt out of the rat race and choose a simpler lifestyle. He downsized and walked away from his 20 year career. He bought this derelict 1965 van and took months restoring it to its former glory. So it could carry him and his Italian princess wherever the paths took them. He picks up odd jobs here and there and just wheels out the double R350 for a ride at every new place. Now, we can't all do that, of course, and may not want to either. But there are plenty of things we can do to enjoy life and free up more time for the things that matter, like family, friends, beer, and of course, dirt riding. Do I need stuff? Question all your purchases. A new car every year, expensive restaurants, trendy fashion labels. Most of the stuff we buy might increase our temporary happiness, but then rapidly just becomes clutter in our lives. If you need something, can you make it yourself? Or buy it secondhand? If it must be new, Buy something that is good quality and will last. There's much more to life than an endless cycle of working and spending and working and spending. Avoid debt and credit cards like the plague. Can't afford it? Don't buy it until you've saved the money for it, except for buying a place to live. Become very skeptical of all ads most of the time, they are trying to convince you to buy shit you don't need. We are surrounded by them, and they are made by professionals who know how to subconsciously manipulate you. Downsize. Do you need such a big house? That second car. Do you have heaps of things lying around you never use? Sell it all off, and aim not to replace it with new clutter, unless it's dirt bike related. Course. Ads try to convince us that anyone richer than us is happier than us, despite all the evidence against this. Choose to be proud of your old car, your small house, your 1980s model dirt bike. Choose not to keep up with fashion trends. Resist the urge to be envious of anyone who owns more shit than you do. Success is a relevant term 
that you can choose to define for yourself. Work hard, then chill. Work the system to your benefit. Especially if you are young, work hard and save hard in your 20s when you are full of energy. Buy a place to live in as soon as you can. Pay it off as soon as you can. Then you have a solid foundation to build the life you want to live. Focus on the things that matter. Research shows that true happiness is not built on money or our possessions. It is built on our life experiences and relationships with others, family, partners and friends. Now, of course, you could choose to do all of this, then lash out on a stable full of brand new dirt bikes and expensive bling. But naturally, most of us have a limited budget. So remember, a brand new dirt bike won't make you a better rider. Just work on your skills. And the latest riding gear with cool graphics won't make you faster. Just stitch up your old gear. The only bling that will make you a better rider is an anodized billet fuel cap. Here endeth the lesson.